Right, and so we go on to question five. They say the acceleration due to gravity on planet X is 2.7 meters per second squared, and the radius of this planet is a third of the radius of the Earth. Right, firstly, they say explain the difference between weight and mass. So weight is um, the measure of uh, the force of attraction that the earth exerts on a body. And we know that mass is the measure of a body's inertia. Or we can say that uh, uh, mass is the mass is the measure of matter, okay, of the amount of matter on a substance. Okay. Right. So let's go to the next question. They say to us. Calculate the mass of planet X. Right. So now what we need to do, uh, ladies and gents, remember they said to us that, um, you know, the, the, the radius rather of the planet of uh, the mass rather, the, the, they said the radius of planet X is a third of the radius of the Earth. Right. So now what I'm going to do is if we were going to measure the weight of this object on the Earth, right? We know that uh, it would be mass times gravitational acceleration. So gravitational acceleration is actually G times the mass of the Earth divided by the radius of the Earth squared, right? Now we know on the Earth it would be 9.8, but on this planet... Uh, the gravitational acceleration is 2.7, right? So this is going to be 6.7 uh, uh, times 10. And by the way, please remember that you're given all of these constants. Um, that's uh, um, the universal gravitational constant uh, just to show you there. So we are given that value for G, that's 6.67 times 10 minus 11, Okay. And we are also given the mass of the Earth, right, which is 5.98. And we are also given the radius of the Earth. However, this time around, we are looking for uh, the radius of this planet. Okay, so let's try and look for that quickly. Right, so, um, okay, there it is there. Right, so we said... They said to us the mass, the, rather the radius of the of this planet is a third the radius of the Earth, so which means this is going to be six point six seven times ten minus eleven multiplied by. Okay, so this is going to the be the mass of planet X, so let's say mass of X, and we know that the radius is a third of the radius of the earth right now please remember we said the radius of the earth now uh, please note 6.64 right uh, uh, where is that i mean 6.38 rather times 10 to the power 6 okay so 6.38 so this would be 6.38 times 10 to the power 6, but this is squared. And what we're going to do is just look for the mass of planet X. And what I'm going to do there, if we cross multiply, uh, I know that this multiplies with uh, 2.7 and 6.67 times mx times 1. This is 2.7 over 1. And in this case, we're going to divide. So um, and please remember, note that we have squared the amount. So what I'm going to do, I'll, I'm going to say, right, this is 2.7 multiplied by, this is 1 over 3 uh, times 6.38 exponent 6. This is squared, all of it squared, okay? And in this case, we're going to take all of that and divide that by 6.67 exponent minus 11. Okay, so that means that the mass of this planet, okay, let's just put it in scientific notation. So the mass of this planet would actually be 1.83 
times 10 to the power 23 okay and this is kilograms okay right so that is how we're going to uh, get the mass of planet x now they said to us determine the factor by which the weight of an object on planet x will differ to the weight of the same object on planet x i mean on planet earth right so the factor by which the weight of the object on x so weight on x divided by weight on earth now notice the mass would be the same right so this is the gravitational uh, acceleration on earth uh, rather on x and this would be the gravitational acceleration on earth right so what simply mean what that simply means is that i can take the two gravitational acceleration values so that's 2.7 divided by 9.8 and so that is the factor uh, so that's 2.7 divided by 9.8 and that means that the factor is 0. Point, well let's say 28 right and remember, this is just a ratio, a factor, so there shouldn't be any units uh, in that regard. Right, ladies and gents, that is how we are going to conclude question five. Let's go on to question six now.